you wanted to see Devontae Smith this preseason? Well, guess what? You may get your wish. Stand up! New York Giant fans, Bengals, are you ready for game number one? Let's freaking go, baby! I'm ready! Let's do it! We look good out here! We look good today! Daniel Jones is going to be better than Dak Prescott. Gary and I said I wanted to punch him in the windpipe and want to watch him choke to death. Ah! I would like to punch him right in the freaking mouth! Not many people talk about dolphin sex, so I am probably the best in the world at that. You know, I'm one of the better ones at that. That's probably my best talent, actually. And uh, I am banned from SeaWorld. That is true, actually. I would let a bald eagle piss in my mouth right now for a Bengals victory. King Ding back here. You see this face? You see the smile on this face? I'm very happy today because we got some really, 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 really good news that to me is not all that surprising. Uh, we had some surprising news and then we had some not so good news. We're going to get into all of it today. But before we do that, um, if you have the news break app, maybe you want to get it. Click the link in the description and give your boy a follow. Uh, you won't be disappointed, I promise. But uh, definitely do that. Uh, and I'm not going to talk about it much more because you know I love you. Definitely. All right, so the Eagles were back at practice today. A few things we have to go over. Um, let's talk about the injury report, or as they like to say today, the practice participation report. Um, limited. Here's the guys that were limited in practice today. Arnold. Avery, Clark, Kroom, Leo, Walker, and Sayomalu, who was upgraded from week to week to day today. He was back at practice on a limited basis, which is really, really good news. Um, day to day, Huntley, James, Kerrigan, Devontae Smith, who we're going to get into in a second, who was just upgraded from week to week to day to day. And you know what that means, or you will in a minute. And then, of course, uh, Wallace was out with a, a groin. The Eagles also made a couple moves today. They waived Adrian Killens again. Um, he seems like he never really gets a shot to, you know, to see what he can do. I mean, we know he's fast. We know he's small. And we know that the Eagles didn't really know where to use him because they had just switched him to officially being a wide receiver like last week. Uh, but now he's getting moved as well as Caleb Wilson, the tight end. And what's interesting is, and this was kind of a surprise today, they activated LaRaven Clark off of the physically unable to perform list. Most people thought because he had an Achilles injury last year that he wouldn't be back to at least week six. But he is back off that list now. And that's great news because he definitely provides this offensive line with more depth, okay? So now that he is back, it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder, what are they going to do with Andre Dillard, right? Clearly, Jordan Mulata is winning that left tackle job. Although today at practice, Nick Sirianni was not willing to uh, name Mulata the starter. Um, you, you, you know, everybody knows, Jordan Mulata is going to win that position. And with Clark back early, it does make one of those left tackles, Clark or, or Dillard, makes one of them expendable. And you have to wonder if the Eagles would be willing to move Andre Dillard. I don't know. I think it's something worth watching. I mean, the guy's in his third year of a rookie deal. He's a first-round pick. And there's got to be some team, because of the value they put on left tackles, that is going to think, hey, if we can get this guy in here, we can fix him, we can deal with him, all that good stuff, mother humpers. So, um, Raven Clark comes back. And I think that's a uh, it's very very interesting. Okay, now today the Eagles were practicing again. It was it was a short practice, another short practice. Uh, but this was kind of more of a walkthrough. Um, the Eagles are getting ready. I think tomorrow the Patriots are coming in for the week. They're going to practice with the Eagles, so it's going to be joint practice. Uh, Eagles 
Patriots, we're going to get to see Nelson Stinkelar. Nelson, 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 he stinks. Going to make Patriot fans drink. Thank, thank, thank you. It's coming to iTunes real soon. But I'm going to be able to sing that song at least for the week. So I'm very happy about that. But they're going to work out with the Patriots, practice with the Patriots. And uh, I always like these joint practices because things get really, really, really intense. You know what I mean? So it should be fun. Uh, I can't wait. Um, now... I'm going to give you, I'll give you the bad news first, okay? Carry on Johnson. Carry on Johnson is being evaluated for a knee injury. We're not sure how serious or bad it is yet, but just by the, the, the sound of things, it, it sounds like it could be serious. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but uh, I, I was surprised that, like, Carry on Johnson's spot on the depth chart. He was like the fourth or fifth running back. It's kind of surprising to me. Um, I really thought he would be your number two running back, but I mean, you know, if he's hurt now, you could forget about it. Uh, Jordan Howard clearly looks like the number two running back, and he's in phenomenal shape. I mean, Jordan Howard looks like he's 20 pounds lighter, and he's still big and strong. You know what I mean? So, uh, carry on. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, to him going forward, but um, hopefully it's okay, because I still like the addition of Carrion Johnson, okay, but there's a lot of competition at the running back spot, I mean, besides Miles, who's going to be integral part of this offense this year, uh, Jordan Howard, Ball Scott, I thought Kenneth Gainwell looked great for a rookie uh, last game, I really liked what I saw out of him, um, Huntley, I want to see get more Repetition. I want to see Huntley on special teams more because he's a dangerous player back there on kick returns. So I want to see that. But um, a lot of competition at running back. We'll see what happens with Carrion Johnson. Um, and, you know, the good news today and what I'm most excited about is Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith was upgraded from week to week to day to day. Now, a lot of people were expecting that he wasn't going to play the rest of the preseason. I said that I thought by week two or week three, he would be back. And it looks like there's a chance that he could even play this week. He could even play this week. At the very least, at least get him a few reps week three of the preseason. I know they're not going to want to play their starters like Hurts and those guys um, week three. But if you could at least get him some reps, I think that would be good. I, I, I feel like that Devontae Smith is going to play this week. I really feel like it. And um, that's going to be very exciting to get him back early is a great thing, and I, I, you know, people were trying to say, oh, his injury, he's going to be hurt all year, all this stuff, it, it was two to three weeks, and he's already back day to day, so he could be practicing this week, he could be playing this week, and this is really, really great news, uh, because with the emergence, not surprising, the emergence of my man Quez Watkins, I think Jalen Rager has played much better for the most part, I mean, he's had a few mistakes here and there, dropped the ball in the game, I thought he should have caught, but with, with ever since my cannoli eating coach, my, uh, my gabagool director basically got on his ass and got into him, Jalen Rager has seemed like a different player. He has seemed like a different player. Now I want to throw Devontae Smith in that lineup. And I think you're giving Jalen Hurts a lot of weapons, a lot of speed on that field. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to watch. Um, uh, so... Devontae Smith coming back is a big deal. Uh, Eagles, like I said, they were practicing today. Um, from everything that I heard about camp was uh, defensive line was dominating. Um, my man Josh Sweat continues every day to impress. Better, better. Uh, Hurts, he was he was dropping dimes. He was looking pretty good today. Had a great pass to Ertz in the back of the end zone. Ertz with a great uh, one-handed catch today. Um, so Ertz looks good too. I mean, and this is not surprising to me. Like I said, the thing with Ertz is whether you're going to keep him, whether you're going to trade him, you're going to have positive things come out every day in practice. One, he still can play. And two, if you are looking at trading him, you want to build up his trade value. So, so far, so good. The only real negative to Ertz this, uh, this training camp was that, that drop in the preseason game. He has to catch that ball. No question about it. However, it is what it is. Ertz is out there. And, um, yeah, the Eagles, we, I, think, I think we're going in the right direction. I think that 
If you look at the preseason game, we talked about it a lot. Uh, I thought the, the starters, I thought the first half, the Eagles were pretty good. Coach had them ready to play. And then um, I hope this week we're going to see a lot more of Hurts, a lot more of this starting offense. Um, question is, is will they play Miles Sanders? Because I'm telling you, the fact that Miles Sanders sat out that first game tells me he's an integral part of this offense, that they are going to lean heavy on him, which is the opposite of approach of what we got from uh doug peterson so yes the eagles uh they're looking good they're gonna have the patriots out this week uh, i believe monday they're coming out um so it's going to be fun then we have the preseason which of course i will be streaming live no question about it so hit that like hit the subscribe button so you don't want to miss it because it was crazy the other the other uh, on thursday it's going to be even crazier each week gets crazier and crazier into the season um but yeah i'm liking what i'm seeing um with this team overall i really am and and we've had a lot of little injuries nothing su super serious as of yet knock on wood okay and hopefully carry on is okay but it looks like if you look at the injury report it looks like we're getting a lot of guys back we're getting a lot of guys back already um and if you come out of a preseason game with no major injuries, then in, as far as I'm concerned, you won that game. And that's what happened to the Eagles on Thursday. So now we're getting guys like Devontae Smith back. Uh, Clark has been uh, activated. Uh, Sayamalu's back. Brandon Brooks got some uh, limited reps in the game. Everything is, I think, going according to plan. Okay, the big question I have with today's news uh, is what's going to happen with Andre Dillard. We are going to find out. We are going to see. Uh, reminder, tonight, Philly Shakedown Podcast. Uh, you want to look for that, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. You know who was one cool dude? You know who was one really good guy, really genuine guy, really hard worker, a guy that, that does his own thing that I have the utmost respect for, Joe Castro of the Philly Philly Podcast. Uh, shout out to him, man. He, you know, voluntarily, I didn't even know he was doing this, but he did some things for me and Joey for the Philly Shakedown Podcast. You will see tonight, 9 p.m., Eastern time, uh, but shout out to Joe Castro. I'm gonna put the link in the description to his channel I want you guys if you haven't go sub him up. You won't be disappointed uh, And tell him Philly 500 sent me uh, and you know Dingback Nation welcomes you and sub him up and uh, Do it because he's a great guy and he did something really really nice. I'll show you guys what it is tonight um, Didn't even know he was gonna do this. It was a total surprise when Joey showed me, um, but you guys will see tonight. Um, so shout out to Joe Castro. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, because uh, he's a hell of a guy and I love you. <laughs>